Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel again. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I forgive me if the lighting keeps going in and out. My camera is trying to adjust so that you can have it's self-adjusting. So just be patient. It's gonna it's gonna get right in a minute. All right. Well, I just want to say good morning, everybody, and I thank God for each and every one of you on today. And uh, I just want to come before you because I have a small candle haul. It's a small one, not nothing major. And um, I'm a person, I love Bath and Body Works. I love their, their candles and whatnot. Awesome smelling candles. However, I don't like the price. So I said, you know, I... I have been buying candles for years, for years from, let me see if I can, let me see something, just give me a minute, from ye, for years from, um, from Walmart, so I said I would try, hold on, my camera is trying to adjust to the lighting situation, and so I said I would, uh, whew, that's, that's too bright, hold on, give me a minute. Yeah, so I had been buying candles for a minute from Walmart. And I went to Walmart yesterday and I bought me some candles and I thought it was kind of worth haul worthy. It's not a whole lot, but it's something that I thought I would share. Uh versus candles, Bath and Body Works candles versus Walmart candles. Bath and Body Works is very expensive. Walmart is less expensive. I can get the same smell, the same, I can get the same smell from the candles that I purchased from Walmart than if I was to purchase some at Bath & Body Works. How do I know? Because I bought them from both, uh, both retailers, Bath & Body Works and Walmart. Bath & Body Works smell okay. They smell, but to me, this is just personal. Don't come for me, but to me. The same candles I can buy at Bath & Body Works, maybe not the same scent, but I'm talking about as as far as when I burn them, I get the same aroma. It's nothing more potent about one or the other to me. So anyway, I went to Walmart and I thought I excuse me, I'm sorry, and I thought I would buy some candles. But before I go ahead, did I say hello to everybody? Did I say good God Tuesday to everybody? Praise the Lord. It is Tuesday, right? Yeah, this is Tuesday. Praise the Lord. It is raining in the VA. It was raining yesterday. It was raining today. It's raining today. And I just came back in the house. My daughter, God is, I'm going to tell you something. My God, God, God is good. My daughter called me and uh, she was like, Mom, she said my car, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, so when I, so I had to go out and get her from the side of the road. She was on her way to work. She was picking up the supplies to go to work. And um, her car broke down. Now, I had never been to my, my daughter's job before. It took me 30 minutes to get to where she was at. She wasn't even at work yet. I said, you mean to tell me you come all the way out here? You come all the way out here in the boondocks to work? I said, really? Mm-mm. She, she worked about 40 minutes from me. But where she worked at 40 minutes, I had to, you know, help, help Lord. And, uh, but got to the car. Her right, her passenger side uh, tire, the tire at the right, right front end was turned all the way out like this. And she was on the interstate. It looked like her axle broke, that something to do with the tire. And I thank God because she was able to pull over and it, just, just, and it just didn't break off and cause her car to flip and cause other people to run, run in the back of her car. God gave her a safe passage, passage so that she was able to get to the side of the road. She was able to call for assistance and we got there and I was able to go pick her up and she was safe. That's the whole thing. She was safe. If you would have seen the tire, you would have just would have been appraised. Because I'm telling you, the tire was literally, literally protruding from the side of the car. Like, like this is the car. The tire was like sitting, out, like this, this is the car. So the tire was like out here, protruding from the, I said, what in the, when I tell you that wasn't nothing but the mercies of God, I'm telling you the mercies of God. But anyway, 
I just pray that each one of you have a blessed day. I pray that you keep on living life on purpose. Don't you let nobody stop your drive and your motivation. Don't listen. Be careful because there are dream killers out here. There are dream, there are dream uh, killers and dream snatchers out here. They will try to talk against your dream. They will try to talk you out of going after your dream and your vision. But don't you let nobody talk you out of nothing that you have in your heart to do. If you want to start a business, start a business. If you want to go back to school, go back to school. My God, so whatever your dream and your ambitions are, you Go after them full force. And for all the naysayers, listen, you got to learn how to cut people off what, right, right where they at. People get this twisted. And I'm going to help somebody out today. I can love you, but I can love you from another state. In other words, we ain't got to be the best of friends. We ain't got to, you, I, I, I don't have to hear from you every day. I, I don't need you to call me every day. We don't have to talk every day. Because we ain't, the, it's not that type of friendship. You're, you have to learn how to, you have to ca categorize your friends. You have those that you call, you, you have those that you call friends. Those are the people that you can rely on. You might have two of them in your life. You might have two, okay? And then you have those that are associates. Yes, I know of her. Yes, I know of him. Those are your associates. But then you have those who are seasonal people. You heard of them. You don't hang around them. Y'all have nothing in common. But you just, they're seasonal. In, in, in other words, they liable to go any, any time, day or night. They liable, and, and listen, and even if they do leave your life, it won't make a difference. That's that, that, those are the type of, type of people I'm talking about. But sometimes we take those seasonal people and try to make them permanent friends. And it was never God's intention for you to take a seasonal person to try to put them in the place of a, of a permanent friend. And now you got, and now you are, you have more issues with that individual than that, that, that you should. Because first of all, you didn't see God about the person. You didn't, and you didn't wait for wisdom. A lot of people do things because it's familiar to them. But we got to stop that stuff because there are a lot of people out here today talking people out of doing things. And, and, and listen, most of them carry a jealous spirit. Most of them have are, are insecure. And what it is, they're trying to ride off of your, off your uh, coattail. They're trying to ride off of your, sco your skirt tail. Or, you know, and so no, 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 no. It's not, it's, we're, we're not that type of friend. You have to learn, whether you are saved or unsaved, that everybody that's smiling in your face don't mean you no good. And I don't care if if, if, if it was me and another saved woman of God. There are, listen, if we, uh, if, we, if we just don't get along, we just don't get along. I can love you, but I ain't got to be around you every day. Cause you're not gonna, cause you, cause you, cause you're not gonna kill my mo uh, morale. You're not gonna kill my love walk. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be around me gossiping and talking about people every day. You know, and, and so no, don't ever feel like you have to be around everybody every day. That's not what a friend is. That's not what uh, what God meant to love your neighbor. That's not what He mean. Cause you got some people. You you have some people, and most of them are your family. They will kill the vision that's on the that's on the inside of you that you're trying to give birth to. They will kill that vision. But anyway, I don't want to get too far off track. Too far off track, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to tell, encourage everybody, listen. Just because they are related to you by blood and just because you know them by association does not mean that that automatically make you their friend. I have some fam family members I don't talk to for years. You understand what I'm saying? For years. I had to eulogize my aunt. Hadn't seen her in over 30 years, but I had to eulogize her. Does that mean that she ain't my aunt? Absolutely not. She was over there and I was over here and I was okay. And she was okay. No love was lost. Okay, amen. So I'm saying that to, I hope that helps somebody. Just because you're related by blood or by marriage does not automatically make y'all friends. I try to get along with everybody, but does not mean I'm going to be able to do that. Because some people just ain't going to like you just because. They ain't going to like you just because. They people will find the dumbest reasons to not like you. I don't like her. 
Because her big toe is bigger than mine. I don't like her because her house is bigger than mine. I don't like her because she drives a nicer car than mine. I don't like her because her children are prettier than mine. I don't like her because she got an education. I don't like her because she got good hair and I got nappy hair. I don't like her because she brown skin and I'm light skin. I don't like her because of this. And I don't like her. People will find a reason not to like you. You do you. You make sure you are living according to the word of God for your life. You do you. I'm just trying to look at my little ways right here. Y'all just... Don't pay me no man. I'm just trying to look at my little ways. <laughs> and, um, but I say all that to say this. I'm going to go ahead now. And, um, so I just want everybody to have a blessed day. I know your day is going good so far. But I wanted to share my candle haul with you guys. I went to Walmart yesterday. Oh, my goodness. I cannot buy a $12 candle. I I have done it. Don't get me wrong. I have. I'm guilty. I went to Bed Bath. I mean, Bath and Body Works. I got some, 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 some of them. Two for twelve dollar candles. Two, I'm sorry, two for twenty four, two for twenty two dollar candles, or something like that. And I want to slap myself silly. I really did. After I got home, the candles smelled delicious, but I'm not buying no candles for that much money. I'm sorry. Okay, then. So I went to Walmart yesterday, like I said. No, and I, my my intentions was going to get some things. And one of the things I want to get was some candles. So I went to bed, I, I went to Walmart yesterday, and I always get this brand of candles. It's the Better Home and Gardens candle, and this uh, this is the Warm Spring Sunshine. This is the Warm Spring Sunshine, honey. Oh, I listen. I ain't even put up to my nose yet. I have not, ooh, I have not put it up to my nose yet. But you can smell this candle as soon as I took the top off. You hear me? Ooh! Yo, oh, I wish I was in this room. It smells like, oh, what is that smell? Mm. It smells so good. It's a sweet smell, but it's not overpowering. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like a soft coconut. Soft, 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 soft coconut. I mean, it is beautiful. I can't even see what's in it, but it smells so good. This is the Better Homes and Garden, I do believe. Yeah, the Better Homes and Garden brand. But it's, this one is the Warm Spring Sunshine. There it go right there. Y'all got to get some. This thing is so sweet. I'm trying to think what it smells like. Oh. Something coconut. With a mango and peach or something. Oh. I smell that mango. That's what it is. Some, some type of mango in this. But when I tell you. This thing smells so good. Anytime I just took the top off. I took the top off. And when I opened it. I hadn't even faced it. You can immediately smell it. Oh. This particular candle. I believe this one was $4.44. This was $4.44 versus $12. Love this candle. I can't, I can't wait to burn it. I cannot wait to burn it. So, and I bought me two of them. I bought two of them. Okay. Yeah, spread, hold on. Yeah, so I bought two of these. $4.44 a piece. You can't beat that, okay? Then... I always buy the Better Home and Gardens brand. Now, when I now when I do go to Walmart, I always buy the Better Home and Garden brand. And I bought the I'm sorry, and the and this right here, this jar is this is a 13 ounce jar. This is 13 ounces right here. Four dollars and forty four cents. And this is another Better Home and Garden. This is French Country Vanilla. This is a French Country Vanilla. You see how I, I, I keep turning it like this. Because, oh, I do 
that because when I open it, you the aroma just hits the room. You don't have to smell it. It's going to smell. It's going to come to your nose. You don't have to put it to your nose. That's why I deliberately did like this. Because when you open it, the aroma just, it just, it's just like a wave. Just, and it's just like, oh my goodness, it takes you somewhere. But this is the warm, the French country vanilla from Better Homes and Garden. This is the 18 ounce. This is the 18 ounce. Let me tell you, let me show you the different sizes. This one versus this one. You see how much bigger it is? I don't know if y'all can see it, but. Okay, let me take off the lid. Hold on. If I take off the lid, maybe you can see the difference. In it. You see how much bigger it is now? Okay. Yeah. This one was $5.97. Still a good buy. When I tell you, oh, it smells like a, it smells like a, it smells like a buttery vanilla, a real buttery. This is sweet, but it's not powerful. It's, it's more of the vanilla flavor. It's more of the cinnamon flavor. You can, oh, it's just so soft, so subtle, subtle. And I'm telling you, I burn these. Matter of fact, I got one sitting right there. I got a candle sitting right there. Got a candle sitting right there in one of my dining room. I love me some candles. I love me some candles. But these are just my backups right here. But this one is the Better Home and Gardens brand. I'm telling you. Versus going out here and getting, I mean, to each his own. I'm not putting Bath and Body Works down. And it's not that I don't have it to go buy it. I just don't see the logic in it. I'm, this is just me. Lord knows this is just me. I I, I can't get on. I, I did it. I have done it. I have spent the money. But I, I don't see the reason in it. I'm sorry. If this works just as good, if, if the brand from Walmart, the Better Home and Garden brands, work just as good as those other brands that Bath and Body Works sell, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get this. And this was only $5.97. So I got two of these. Okay. So I got two of them. Then I purchased the... Better Home and Garden Malibu Mango Melon. Better Home and Gardens Malibu Mango Melon in, in, in the 18 ounce. Now, I'm again, listen, you see that? I'm facing it this way. And there she go. Oh, there you go right there. Ooh, that smells so good. Y'all, I, I wish y'all was in this room. Good. This is good. This is not sponsored. This is my honest to goodness truth. I'm not going to lie to you. This one thing about Tina, she ain't going to lie to you. This right here. You can smell. It smell like, it's like water. This smell like watermelon. That's what it smell like. Watermelon. What it got melon in is melon. Mango. I'm going to smell mango. I can smell mango. Can't smell the mango. What's what's really powerful in here is the watermelon or, or the melon. When I tell you this thing smells good, it's sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's a type of sweet in your house that when people come in your house, it's, it's going to be very inviting, very warm. This is so good right here. Now, I only got one of these. Don't ask me why. I only got one. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because I budget myself. I budget. I, I I get what I want, but I budget. Okay, I bought you know, and I think my candles came like thirty dollars. Okay, that's that's enough money right there for thirty. I ain't paid all. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This this right here should last me about three months. No, I ain't gonna lie. The devil's a lie. This might last me. A month. <laughs> this might last me about a month and a half or two. Might depending on how I burn it, because I just put some fresh ones out. But I'm telling you, this brand, Better Home and Gardens, I'm telling you, y'all got to get this. Get this. Try, have, listen, if you have bought candles from Walmart, the Better Home and Gardens brand, comment down below and tell me how you like it. If you have purchased any of these scents that, I, that I'm talking about today, comment down below and tell me how you like it. I have one last candle. And I think this is my favorite one. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. 
again. Ain't it pretty? Ooh, ain't it pretty? This is the Better Home and Gardens Island Coconut Lime. Now watch this. I'm, put, I'm pointing this way. This way. Oh my goodness. There it go. There it go. See, it had to find me. The scent had to find me. And I tell y'all. Look at that. That's what you're getting right there. Oh, let me move that out the way. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. There you go. That's the coconut line. Better home and gardens. Oh, I'm done. I am done! Did you? Please, y'all, come on. Come on over my house. I'm going to let y'all smell this. Come on. Come on over my house and so, so you can get a whiff of this. I ain't gonna lie to you, I promise you. And this is in the 18 fluid ounces as well. $5.97. Five, yeah, five ninety seven. I'm telling you, these are some perfect candles. Perfect. Now, so I'm gonna lay my I'm gonna lay them on the floor. So I'm gonna try to do it so you oh, you know what? I can't on the floor because I got my pajama pants on. I just got back in the house. It's cold. It's it's kind of cool out here, so I just threw me on some comfortable pajama pants. And uh, and I changed my shirt. But so that's mine. I recommend these to anybody. Yes. I put my stamp of approval on this. Better Home and Garden, kudos to you. Walmart, Better Home and Gardens. For the for the 13 fluid ounces is $4.44. For the 18 fluid ounces, they're $5.97. And I bought two, four, I bought six candles. Listen, y'all, I'm so serious. Go get your son. Go, you don't have to go to the highest price. Listen, again, I tell you this all the time. I have nothing against Bath and Body Works. Am, am, am I saying that right? I have nothing against that, that store. Nothing. But if you can't afford their candles, there are, there's always alternatives. So my alternative to going out and buying these, those high price candles is go to Walmart and get your son. You're going to be just as satisfied. A lot of people do stuff to jump on the bandwagon. Stop jumping on the bandwagon and go broke trying to follow after the after the trend. You know what your pocketbook look like. You know what you can afford and what you can't afford. Stop trying to be out here because because this person on YouTube is is promoting or that person on YouTube is promoting. What is your pocketbook saying? Because if your pocketbook ain't promoting, then you can't then you can't hang with the Joneses. No offense to nobody that's last name Jones. I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that. But you know it was it, it was a saying back in the day about hanging with the Joneses. Okay, and so my whole thing is this: I could go right now and and and, and go by me fifteen and twenty candles. From Bath and Body Works. But wisdom say, Tina, this is what wisdom is saying to me. Why go to Bath and Body Works when you right there by Walmart and they sell the candles that you've been buying for years, for years, and you have, and so you have also went out and purchased candles from Bath and Body Works. And I was kind of disappointed only because, only because. I paid all that money, excuse me, to get the same aroma that I would have got if I had it went to Walmart and paid five dollars and four dollars for something. What am I trying to tell somebody? There is always an alternative. So if you don't have the money for the Bath and Body Works, then try Walmart. And if you don't like Walmart, then go back to Bath and Body Works. But see, it, it's just you know, you you have options. Stop following the trend and be a trend set. How about that? You don't you stop following the trend and you set the trend. All right. But I hope y'all like my little haul. I just want to share my little candle haul. Tell me which, you know, and, and listen, comment down below if you have ever bought a candle from uh, Better Home and Gardens. And how did you like it? Comment down below. Tell me. Listen, share this video, comment, like, subscribe. Come on now, let's come on, let's let's get this dialogue going here. So comment on it. Tell me what you think about. Tell me what you think about the ones that you bought from uh from uh from uh Bath and Bath um, from uh Walmart, and um we can go from there. And also, so don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified. 
uh, I'm trying to give, I'm trying to do a giveaway, but I need to get to 200 people. And once I get to 200 people, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to show y'all some of the things I'm about. Once we get to 200, I will show you some of the things that I'm going to put in the giveaway. And then we can go from there. Okay. Listen. Thank you for taking the time out to stop by my channel. Tell your family and friends to come on and subscribe to my channel. And listen, um, I want to do a, a q and I want to do a QA. and a So if you have any questions for me, no question is too personal. Because if it's too personal, I'm not going to answer it. But so any type of, any questions or concerns that you have about living as, as a Christian woman, living as a uh, uh, Christian individual period, being in leadership in the ministry, being a prophet in the ministry, uh, how to raise children in the godly fashion, uh, you know, how to, how, how to, how to discern your purpose or know what your purpose in God is, uh, things like that. What if you have any questions, comment down below, leave them down below. And what I want you to do, if it's a question for the Q and A, put, put just put Q and A and then write your question. Q and A question, and I will get back. And once I get enough questions, let me see. I want to. I want at least about mm, ten questions. If I can get ten questions from ten different individuals, not the same ones now, ten different individuals, I will gladly, gladly uh, talk about marriage, talk about divorce, talk about death, talk about. Uh, the right attire, uh, every, anything you want to know, or just life in general, breaking up with somebody, how do you deal with the hurt and the pain, all the anything, anything you want to know, anything, comment down below. Let's, let's get this dialogue going. My channel is real. I'm saved, sanctified, baptized, and, I, 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 and I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I am a woman. Okay, I wasn't always saved. I am a mother. I am a grandmother. I'm a leader in the body of Christ. So I'm saying, I'm saying I, you know, God has given me wisdom in, in, in several areas, not just Christianity. Okay, listen, y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below about which candle, uh, have you ever purchased any candles from Walmart, Better Home and Garden brand? If so, how did you like them? If so, would you go back to your old brand of buying candles or your, your old brand of candles? Um, and hit and hit the uh, hit hit the bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I'm so happy to be before you today. I'm just so blessed. It's a even though it's raining outside, it's a beautiful, beautiful day because you are alive and I'm alive. You know what I mean? And I love the Lord. So I'm just saying. Take this time now and subscribe, and we can go from here. Don't forget to leave your questions. I want to do a dialogue now. I want to do a dialogue. So leave your questions below. God bless you. I love you. My name is Prophet Tina Moore. Until next time. Bye-bye.